because most people have the attention span of a fly, right? And it's extremely difficult to keep them watching this webinar. VSL or webinar, which one converts better in 2022? Or to be more precise, which one works better for high ticket coaches and consultants? I'm making this video here for you because I saw on YouTube, um, in my opinion, there's quite a lot of fluff out there when it comes to webinars and VSL. And in many videos you hear, the only thing you hear is, oh, both are amazing and those are the advantages and the disadvantages and all that's okay. But in my opinion, um, this stuff certainly doesn't help you because in my opinion, there is more about it. Yeah. That's also why I'm making this very video here for you because I actually want to go deeper now into this, explain to you what it actually takes to build a webinar funnel or to build a VSL funnel, which one works better in my opinion for high ticket coaching and consulting services. What is the actual psychology behind this? Because if you're following this channel now for a while, you hear me a lot talking about sales psychology and how you apply this in marketing. So the reason is because I really want you to understand what actually happens there. Yeah, I don't want to copy. I don't want you to simply copy paste something. I really want you to understand why certain things work and why certain things do not work or work better or worse, right? And after spending a few bucks on one or the other funnel, um, I can tell you at the end of the day, both work equally well. Yeah, um, it's just a matter of, well, it depends on your skill set, right? It depends on your copywriting skills. It depends on your budget. It depends on your sales skills. And it also depends a little on your offer and positioning, right? So therefore I'm making this video to really help you out here in this situation. So you know exactly what kind of funnel you should choose at the end of this video. And also what are certain pitfalls in one or the other funnel that you need to avoid to set it up correctly. Perfect. So let's get right into it. All right, let's get started with the webinar. So when it comes to the webinar, what you see here is, this is the basic structure of a webinar funnel. So what you can see is you basically run traffic onto an opt-in page, right? You have Facebook ads or YouTube ads, actually it doesn't really matter. You run it onto an opt-in page and people then register for your webinar. What happens then is that you have follow-up email, a follow-up email sequence, right? To warm up people, to hype them up for your webinar and tell them, look, remember, you registered for this, the webinar will take place at the exact time and date and so on and so forth, right? Then the next step will be the actual webinar page. If people watch the webinar, here, by the way, webinar is usually between 60 to 90 minutes long. I will dive deeper into that later on. Let's just talk about the structure here briefly, yeah? 90 minutes webinar, yeah? Then if people are, are happy and they like the webinar, yeah, you sold them on their webinar, then there is either an application form or a sales page. It, may, um, it, it depends if you have a sales process with sales calls behind that. Of course, there's an application page with a calendar, right? If you're just selling a product for $2,000, then there's literally just a sales page, all right? So it is that simple. In the beginning now, we should distinct between there are recorded webinars and there are live webinars, okay? So what you should choose really depends on your skill set here. I have clients um, who are do doing web and um, seminars for more than 20 years. They have a bulletproof formula on how to write their seminar scripts or let's say seminar presentations. So they really know how to sell in, in those seminars. Yeah. So if you're someone like that and you really got experience in presenting live in front of people in front of uh, in form of a Zoom call, or something, then I would definitely recommend you absolutely go for an online webinar here that you do really that you do live, right? Not just a pre-recorded webinar. In, ca in case um, you're not used to do live presentations or sell um, a live online in form of seminars or webinars, then of course you got the option to do a pre-recorded webinar here. But in both cases, the webinar is between sixty to ninety minutes long, and now here's the caveat on this funnel. So now it becomes really interesting. So the thing now is, imagine you're running ads. You know? Somebody has to click on your ad. Then he lands on the opt-in page, your first landing page. People have to click on the register button. Then they have to enter their details, first name, last name, maybe an email address. Of course, an email address, maybe even a phone number, a phone number. And then they even need to pick um, a time and date when they want to attend the webinar. Yeah. 
Next step, they need to read your email follow-up sequences. Otherwise, they won't show up on your webinar. What follows from there is the actual webinar. You already see, um, you, you already see we're going down the rabbit hole here, right? Um, you see, it's extremely difficult. There's a lot of friction already in this funnel. A lot of people were or, already jumped off, right? Now we're at the webinar. People have to watch a 60 to 90 minute video. So your job is here in this webinar, having excellent copywriting skills to sell to thousands of people who've seen the world from thousand different perspectives, who maybe have a thousand different objections, and you gotta keep their attention span up for 60 to 90 minutes. Because most people have the attention span of a fly, right? And it's extremely difficult to keep them watching this webinar. Yeah. Then if they're happy and they're excited and you sold them on this webinar successfully, then they see the sales page. And then they maybe even see the price for the first time. It, it depends if you're already mentioning, you're probably you're already talking about this in the webinar, you should, you should. Then they see the sales page for the first time, they have to enter their payment details and so on and so forth. So what do you think? How many people will make a purchase at the end of this webinar funnel? You have so many different steps in this funnel. You have so much friction in this funnel. Yeah? And this is the real challenge of a webinar funnel. Yeah? The funnel is relatively complicated from a technical perspective. So if you're a beginner, I do not recommend you setting up a webinar funnel because it takes some technical skills to do this correctly. Same applies to your copywriting skills. If you're quite advanced in copywriting, if you really know how to sell and market your offer perfectly, maybe you got some practice in writing um, amazing presentations and so on and so forth, then this is an amazing funnel for you. I'm 100% I'm, I'm sure this will work for you quite well then. But the thing now is, if you're lacking some copywriting skills or if you say, ah, I'm not a 100% expert in copywriting, then it's extremely difficult to write a webinar script that really, really, really converts, that really sells. Remember, you have thousands of different people on this webinar coming from thousands of different perspectives with thousands of objections. You have to handle all those objections in the webinar. Yeah? You need to raise their awareness levels from completely uneducated, yeah? Com completely uneducated, so they understand that they got a problem that you need to solve and they understand and you fix their belief system in the webinar so you show them look this is the right solution step by step this is quite challenging here and then yeah but apart from that apart from all these points the webinar funnel can be um, an amazing solution because it's fully automated if you have um, a product sale at the end of the uh, at the end of the webinar funnel you're selling in an automated way this is amazing this is really amazing and the only thing you got to take care of is here and then changing the ads here and then once every once a year or something you simply um, work a little bit on your webinar script and um, to change it up so you don't run into into fatigue here and that's all you got to do right but the next option is now the VSL funnel so now I want to talk about the VSL funnel and what that um, what that funnel is actually capable of so here, the basic structure, again, VSL, VSL funnel or also book called funnel. You see me talking about this funnel in different words. If you want to learn more about the best funnels out there yeah, for high ticket coaching and consulting services, I just made another video on this best sales funnels for high ticket coaching consulting services, or that's how it's called, I guess. I will link it here uh, in a card for you on top, so you can definitely check that out. And what you hear me talking about in this video is that when it comes to the VSL funnel, what I like to do compared to having a VSL funnel with the standard opt-in page, I like to take out the opt-in. Either you just have a uh, casual front page, a first page, or you take that out and just lead people directly to the VSL page. Why is that? Remember what I said previously in the webinar, we have too much friction in a funnel like this. The best funnels out there, they are simple. They're really simple and they do not have any friction. Or let's say you reduce it to a minimum. Yeah? Okay, but let's talk about the basic structure here briefly, only briefly. Same spiel again, you're running ads on this funnel, Facebook or YouTube ads, it doesn't matter. Maybe you have an opt-in page, maybe you take it out. Then people are able to see your VSL page. 
there is a 20 minute VSL per video. If you sell them on this video, they're happy, then they go through an application form and then they can book a call with you on your calendar. Afterwards, of course, there's always a thank you page, right? And then you can retarget them with retargeting ads and email follow-up sequence. So you make sure that they're watching this VSL video and you make sure that they're signing up for a call with you. They go to your calendar and sign up for a call there. So now the cool thing is, what you already notice is in the VSL funnel, there is less friction. I already touched on that. And the second thing is, in the VSL itself, in the very video, the video is only 20 minutes long compared to 60 to 90 minutes. Why is that? Because you don't have to sell in the VSL your actual service. You're not selling anything in the VSL. The only thing you're doing in a VSL is just like in the webinar, you're raising their awareness level. You show them that they have a problem, the problem awareness. You change their belief system so they believe you have the right solution. And you literally give them options. Look, those are your options now. And the best option is jumping on a call with me. Because now, that's the cool thing. You don't have to sell thousands of different for thousands of different perspectives for thousands of different people with thousands of different uh, objections. No. Therefore, you have a sales call. The sales call is your personalized solution, your personalized sales solution. This is amazing. I can tell you, it is so much easier to sell through a VSL funnel and a sales call afterwards compared to going through all those different scenarios in a webinar. Yeah, you have to be a copywriting master to get to, to nail this in a webinar. You don't have to do this in a VSL. And that's the, this is the very reason why a VSL is only 20, 20 minutes long. It doesn't have to be longer than that. I see VSLs who are between 10, 15 or 20 minutes long. That works as well because it doesn't take that much of willpower uh, <laughs> to, to jump on a call compared to making a purchase right away. So it's definitely easier to book calls through a VSL funnel compared to a 60 to 90 minute um, webinar then. And also the cool thing is, imagine you have to optimize this VSL. Of course, over, over time you're getting new data in and you wanna be optimizing this. It's so much easier to optimize a 20 minute video compared to optimizing a 60 to 90 minute uh, webinar. Imagine this, this is crazy, right? So this is a huge advantage and you really don't have to be a copywriting master when it comes to writing VSL scripts. It's so much easier to, to get calls booked yeah, compared to handling all those scenarios in a, in a, um, a webinar then. All right. So those are the most important things about webinar and VSL. When it comes to B2B, if you're a B2B consultant, I highly recommend you going for a VSL. Um, the reason for this is because in the past, everyone used a webinar in um, B2B. And literally everyone in B2B is, in, or let's say in in-market, in a certain in-market audience is tired of watching those webinars. You gotta understand, people do not see a VSL or a web webinar for the first time nowadays. They've most likely they have or they already been through one of those funnels. So you really gotta be smart here. Yeah, you need to put this from a different perspective. Yeah, you gotta give them something new. Yeah. And a VSL page or a VSL that is not too salesy, like in a webinar, definitely works better in B2B. All right. One last thing that I wanna be I wanna mention here when it comes to the VSL funnel. The magic, as I said, the magic actually happens on your sales call. Yeah. This is very cool, therefore it's relatively simple to get a VSL off the ground. Yeah, the magic happens on a sales call, but there's one caveat. If you're scaling those funnels, yeah, you also gotta scale your sales team. That's super important to understand because the more appointments you get booked in your calendar, the more people you need to have that actually go on a, on a 60 minute Zoom call and sell um, to your leads then, right? But there's one amazing solution to that. We call this a pre-qualification call, or sometimes we also call this a central call. This is a very, very smart way to pre-qualify people in a 10, 15 minute phone call to just make sure that they're qualified and it even makes sense to schedule a consultation call that takes 60 to 90 minutes. So instead of you hiring five, six, seven different salespeople, many times what I see, you only need one salesperson and one central person then and then you get the same, you, you're able to um, handle the same amount of people uh, in your sales process. So this is a very, very smart way to scale your sales team. Yeah, so beautiful.
So I hope by now you really understood what it takes to set up a VSL or a webinar funnel, what are the advantages and the disadvantages of one or the other, and you know exactly what you should go for in your specific situation for your offer. If you like this content, then definitely subscribe to this channel. I'm definitely putting more content like this out there and our channel is in general for high ticket coaches and consultants who want to scale their coaching business through advertising and using sales psychology in their marketing to attract more and better clients. And if you want to learn more about sales psychology, then definitely check out our latest marketing report. Um, just go on www.em-consulting.net slash report. You can download it there for free. And there you see how we use sales psychology in marketing to attract better and higher qualified leads and how to scale advertising campaigns for high ticket coaching and consulting businesses. That being said, see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.